going on y'all? Welcome to my channel. So today what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about what to do when a girl looks at you. So let's say you're out in your everyday life, maybe you're at a party, maybe you're at a coffee shop, maybe you're just minding your own business on the beach and you see a girl look at you, okay? You're not sure if she's interested in you, you're not sure if she wants you to come talk to her, what should you do at that point, okay? In my personal opinion, I think there's no wrong in saying hi to somebody, but we'll break this down a little bit more to give you more clues to see if you should actually go talk to her, if you should try and get her phone number uh, and continue the interaction uh, later. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do in this video. Okay, cool, so let's say you're minding your own business and this does happen to you. Now what I've noticed with women and what I've noticed with people in general is if they want someone to come up and talk to them, usually they're gonna be looking around a little bit more. Now they might be looking for somebody that's not you, it might not have anything to do with you, and so how do you know if it's associated with you, okay? So there are three ways that that I've noticed that women will indicate that they want somebody to come talk to them. The first way is they are looking and they look directly at you, okay? If they look directly at you and they maybe do a double take and they look back and they smile, that's probably a sign that they want you to come talk to them, all right? Not 100%, but you should probably at least try. Okay, and what's the hurt in saying hi to somebody? If they didn't want to talk to you, if they, you know, they turned away from you and they decided that it's not something that they want, okay, no, just wish them well, no harm, no foul, okay? But most of the time, what I've noticed is that when a girl looks at a guy or when she, you know, sp spends a little bit of time and has a little bit of eye contact with you, uh, typically she'll look away very fast and then if she's brave, she'll do it again, but she might not do it again after that, okay? So what I usually like to do is I usually like to walk over to her, see if she starts paying attention to me or see if she reacts to me. Um, if she kind of has her body language pointed away from me and turned in and she's focused in on her friends very intensely, then I just kind of let her do her own thing and then when there's a break, then I will go talk to her. If you see a group of people and they're very focused on each other and they're not looking around, their body language is not open, probably means that they are talking to each other and they don't want to be interrupted right now, okay? So if you see that, let them be for a little bit. And then when their body language gets open, then maybe you can say hi, all right? The other way, and this is the way where I've noticed a lot of other girls do it, most of the time it's gonna be something like this. I don't get a whole lot of girls that stare directly at me for a long period of time, uh, but I do get women that will do a lot of this. Maybe they'll be looking around. Maybe they will be not so focused on what's going on with them right now, okay? But if they're reading a book, they're staring at their friend that they're talking to, then maybe they're not looking for someone to come talk to them. But if they're looking around, if they're kind of seeing what's out there, their body language is faced more towards the world, they have their head up, and then maybe they glance over at you, then that's a good indication that maybe she might want you to come talk to them. Not every single time, but it might be good to just say hi, see how she's doing, um, and see if she wants to actually talk to you, see if she wants to meet you. What do you do if you get one of these things? If you get one of these things where they're either looking around or they're looking right at you, what do you do? What do you go up and say to them, all right? Well, the easy way is just walk up and say, hi, my name's Lloyd, I just saw you over there, I thought I'd come say hi. <laughs> Very easy way to start the conversation. Some guys like to do, hey, I just saw you over there and I thought you were cute and I thought I'd come say hi. Uh, the I thought you were cute part, um, it kind of sets a precedent that I don't want to put that pressure on her. So I usually just say, hey, I saw you over there and I thought I'd come say hi and introduce myself. My name's Lloyd. Oh, you guys just seem cool. I thought I'd come say hi. Cool, where are you guys from? Oh, nice. I'm from California. I actually just moved to Texas recently. Okay, so you see how I just smoothly moved into a little bit of small talk just to kind of see where they're from and what they're about? Uh, that's what I would recommend that you do. Just be light, be relaxed, but when you go in, the number one thing that I see guys doing that really messes it up and kind of creeps the girls out is they hesitate. You know, they feel like they shouldn't be there and so they kind of do this motion and that freaks people out. Look, she's either gonna be with it or she's not gonna be with it. So if you walk up and say, hey, how's it going? My name's Lloyd. I just saw you over there and thought I'd come say hi. How are you guys doing? Okay, now there's usually gonna be a little bit of nerves at the beginning. They're not used to some guy coming up and talking to them um, and that's okay. So if you just stick with it for a little bit longer, maybe ask them one more question and if they're still not down with it, then go off on your own way, no harm, no foul. But usually what I've found is you give them a moment to relax a little bit and then they'll talk to you for a little bit longer. Now, once you've been talking to them, don't overstay your welcome, all right? If you've been there for a long time and their body language is tilted away from you and they're trying to not talk to you, then let them be. 
But if their body language is still tilted towards you, they still want to keep talking to you, then I will keep talking to them. And what I like to do is I like to tell them about stuff that I'm doing and see if they're interested in joining me doing that thing. If you're always inquiring about what they're doing and trying to do what they're doing, that's a little bit more creepy and it's not going to get them to like you a lot. So uh, that's what I would do. If you see a girl that's looking at you, it doesn't hurt to say hi or maybe just wave and see how she reacts. You know, a lot of times girls are going to be a little shy, uh, but sometimes they genuinely don't want to talk to you. And if they genuinely don't want to talk to you, they'll usually show with their body language, okay? Maybe they'll be tilted more away from you. So if you pay attention to that, you're going to be totally fine, you guys, okay? So next time you see a girl looking at you, go up and say hi, see how things go, and you know, maybe then you guys can do something in the future together. I used to do this all the time. You know, there's a very easy and respectful way to walk up to people, even in today's day and age, uh, with all the rules and regulations we have in society. Okay, remember to spread some positivity. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. If you want to learn how to do this, there's a coaching form below where I teach guys exactly how to do this. Sign up for my newsletter, uh, and I do free trainings on this sort of stuff. Um, and good luck out there, you guys. Thank you.